Hi, this is Rishin from Electronics Made Easy and welcome to another video on basics of electronics engineering. And today we are going to discuss about the DC power supply. This DC power supply contains a number of blocks which includes a transformer, a rectifier, a filter and a voltage regulator. The available voltage in our homes is a 230 volt AC input and uh, in order to use this power supply in our electronic devices we need to convert this into a DC voltage for that we are using a DC power supply so it consists of as I said earlier it consists of a transformer a rectifier filter and a regulator so the transformer that we are using is a step down transformer that will step down the available 230 volt AC into a smaller voltage levels uh, it can convert the 230 volt ac into a smaller voltage like 9 volt or 6 volt ac so the output of the transformer step down transformer will also be an ac signal in order to convert this ac signal into a dc we'll be using a rectifier so the rectifier that we are using will be a bridge rectifier so the bridge rectifier produces output for both the half cycles of the input ac signal and this rectified output will be having ripples that is it contains AC components so the rectified DC output will be containing AC components that will be called the ripples and in order to reduce the ripples we will be using a filters so filters basically reduces the amount of ripples that is it reduces the amount of AC components present in the rectified output actually what we want we want a, a regulated DC output that is a constant voltage you know that DC is a constant voltage so we need to avoid or reduce all the ripples AC components that is present in the regulator output so the filters will reduce the amount of ripples and this uh, this ripples will not be completely removed and in order to remove the ripples completely we will be using a regulator so the regulator is basically a zener diode which will be using uh, a zener diode and this zener diode produces a constant output voltage irrespective of the change in input voltage or the change in load so the filter output will be having a small variation that is the ripples will be reduced and the regulator will produce a constant DC output so basically this is the DC power supply so it consists of basic uh, basic block like a transformer rectifier filter and a regulator the transformer will step down the AC voltage and the rectifier will convert the AC into pulsating DC and the filter will remove or reduces the ripple effect of the DC pulsating DC and the regulator will then produce a regulated DC output which will be having a constant output value okay thank you